So social media is a beautiful thing. The fact that, or the concept that you have the potential to reach millions of people across the whole globe, to me, is, it's astounding. But it's also a bad thing if you're doing it bad. So I actually run a lot of social, I run a Tumblr, a Pinterest, a Twitter, an Instagram, uh, Facebook, YouTube. So I run almost every social media account that there is out there. I'm always looking at metrics, how to optimize, how to make it better. So in this video, I wanted to show you seven mistakes that you're probably making on social media that probably could be hurting your likes, your engagement, and just how people perceive you. The first mistake that many people make on social media is posting too many selfies. Other than seeming extremely arrogant and self-indulging, you also seem like you lack creativity if your whole feed is just your face. You really need to move past it and actually share some parts of your life on social media. That's probably why people are actually following you and not just self-portraits of yourself. Number two, posting shirtless bathroom selfies. Now yes, most guys that are even remotely physically fit are probably guilty of this sometime in their life, but it's old. And it's even worse when you see guys posting a bathroom selfie and they post it with a comment like some sort of cheesy Tumblr success quote. Now don't get me wrong, you should be extremely proud of your progress in the gym and what you have accomplished. But instead of posting just to post, post actual value, actual content. For example, say you broke your new PR squat. Post a picture of you squatting that and your caption can be, just broke my old PR squat. That has a lot more value than a shirtless picture of yourself in a bathroom. All right guys, so before I keep going with these, I do wanna let you guys know about a huge sale that the Fifth Watches is having. They're changing it up. Not only are they selling watches, they're also dropping sunglasses today for Black Friday. So for today for Black Friday, they're opening the store. I'm gonna have it linked below, but even more importantly, they got you guys a huge discount code. 20%, I'm gonna have the code below. I have never heard of them ever give 20% discount before and they're only having it today for Black Friday. So I'm gonna have all that information below and like I said, they have sunglasses, backpacks, and watches. And if you've been thinking about getting the fifth watch lately, I think today's the time to buy it because this code is only lasting for today, which is Black Friday, and you'll be able to get it 20%. And it also makes a great Christmas gift for both her and him. The third mistake that a lot of men make is posting their drunken escapades. I think you should make it a personal rule that you shouldn't use your phone while you're drinking. You'll just save yourself from a lot of trouble. But if you must use it, try to avoid talking about or posting about how you got super plastered last night on every other social media post. Not only does it get old, you gotta keep in mind that your future employers are now starting to look at your social media accounts to see who you really are. So this one, this one's if you're in a relationship. If you're in a relationship, don't go liking other girls' pictures. Save yourself the unnecessary fight and don't be dumb enough to go like another girl's post, especially if they're in a bikini. While you can look, don't like them. The next one is posting when no one's around or no one's online. Again, I run a pretty large Instagram account and other social media handles. So like I said, I'm always looking into metrics and how to optimize for higher engagement, higher views, higher comments, just more likes in general. So I've pretty much narrowed down what time frames get me that higher engagement. On a personal level, if you're looking for more likes and more comments, which almost every person that posts on social media is, don't go and post at one in the morning when most of your friends are probably gonna be asleep. So look for those time frames throughout the day. Notice that your metrics, and like I said, don't post in odd time frames because it'll significantly decrease your engagement. The sixth mistake is picking a fight on social media. This was a mistake here because you see, here, here there's really no winners. While it is super entertaining sitting back and watching a social media fight go on, the key to keeping your audience and your dignity is to never engage in one yourself. And finally, the seventh social media mistake that really hurts engagement is inconsistent posting. When you start having people follow you, whether it be friends or you're just growing a larger audience, people are following you because they expect something from you. They expect to be entertained or informed or whatever it may be. The worst thing you can do is to stop posting for weeks and then come back. It'll definitely hurt your engagement. People tend to forget about you 
and you become less relevant. So staying on top of people's feeds is one of the best ways to keep your engagement and grow it at a healthy rate. That's it for this week's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Those are some of the mistakes that I've actually done a lot of in the past, both on a personal level and on a business level, because I do run two types of accounts. So. Hopefully you can avoid some of these mistakes. Let me know if I miss anything down below. I would love to hear some of the mistakes that you guys think. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to our second channel by using these buttons right here. That's it for me today. See you next time.